on the back foot, like a lot of a big part of the game. To game. So I think Clockwork is just going to be there once. If Taz, there's not much ra rating to do because they really uh, rely on the heal bomb and lift as maybe they'll get caught. So um, looks like we're seeing a lot of damage being done onto Oddstyle. There is the lift. They need to use the oh the nightmare on the gyrocopter. They managed to transfer it off and get post kill onto the Bane, but unfortunately can catch people out of position, I say, as Bane once again going to contest the pull. Very ballsy. They have the slow coming out, immediately goes for the Nightmare, but is already taking quite a bit of the Rocket Barrage. It is transferred over. Valix is in position. There's going to be an ice shot. Can it split them? It does, and the Snowball gets them over the side, but the Rocket coming from downtown as well. Missile helping out. Shallow Grave and Boogie. Maybe he'll finally get someone. He's even going to go for Axmo, doing some more work. I think Axmo gets the kill there. And with no Fade Bolt up on Valix, they didn't get the Tusk either. So kind of splitting who they wanted to go on, not paying off for the lineup of stock. Yeah, um, that was the sort of same scenario, like, uh, art style was being aggressive. Which... If we have to go late, if they actually manage to make it out, I kind of am in favor, oh goodness, we're going to be seeing a lot of damage going out onto art style, actually, big ill bombs, but the Sonic Wave, the Shallow Grave as well, and Boogie's thinking about going in for this, he's actually salving up, can they catch out art style easily, don't even need the Rocket Barrage, Dazzle will be getting that kill all by himself, and Axmo blinking away, at the same time, in mid, we've got a Snowball onto Nepi, he manages to stun both, he's running, ring around the Rosie on the tower, but that doesn't work against a ranged hero, and he's going to go down to Dendi, wouldn't have works either way since Dendi had that. I'm glad she used it early. Just, sh I don't think she was expecting the shadow, the sh shallow grave, but Dazzle was definitely expecting the sonic wave, so. Yeah. Oh boy, top. Looks like falls. Yeah? And I missed that because he can. Oh. Back it out. Oh, if he attacks it, maybe Dendi brings some hurt to him. He's gonna throw an unstable concoction at Dendi, but Pop blinks in, throws down the acid. Shallow Grave, is it gonna come out? Oh, he's actually holding it for a really long time, and they managed to get the pick on Queen of Pain because of it. A really as to if you play him the Radiance Alk way, he doesn't actually team fight. No. Oh, and Quap is going to be here going in on Boogie. Drops the cooldown. Needs a little bit of help as well. And is Quap going to go down for a second time? Two more auto attacks would do it. Not quite able to. Can the next black cannon? The rocket has got it. Dendi going to come in and clean up Boogie. But another two for one. And they do have a point up in that poison touch so they can try to work in on her refractions. This is going to be a rocket coming down. They've got the lift onto Dendi. The unstable concoction as well. But here comes Oddstyle and the hook shot off the miss. Oddstyle should be able to stop a lot of this aggression. Can they catch up to him though? He's thinking about walking back in and Trixie actually decides to hog block him out. Sonic Wave as well and Trixie goes down. We've now got Rubik taking a fall in the back lines because DJ Raw, he has arrived. And let's see what else they can do. And two centuries. I'll shoot off. Yeah. And we're gonna try to look gauge on the road. It looks like it. We've got the nightmare onto Trixie though, and there's gonna be no hook tuck coming out again. He would somehow going between the heroes there, but a really nice call. Sonic Wave does come down, gets a lot of people low. They are getting a nice cooldown as well. They burnt the Aegis, they've killed off the Tusk as well. They can pick up Axmo, but I think that his blink will be coming off of cooldown. And even if it weren't, he's just gonna walk away. Trixie quickly falling in that uh Script and now Nempy again, the only one left alive. He's trying to run away, but he's gonna have to turn and fight or die. Throws an unstable concoction with the loss of his life, and there is the first team wipe of the game. Point blank on Dichiro. What was Dichiro doing there? Trixie, there's a heal coming out, but Dichiro, they have nothing to slow him, and I don't think they have detection around here. Where is the dust? Alf has popped it at a chemical rage, and maybe Dendi's gonna be the one to go down. His agent has gone to the lost team fight, so that's a huge kill for them. And it looks like Nempy is doing casual vitality booster into. Radiant again. And while there is no Dendi, I would not doubt that the lineup of Navi with a Sonic Wave gonna be coming out here. They could certainly kill people. But instead, the Weave is thrown around. Nempi's being seen stripped up. He did his hit with the Sonic Wave and no big deal. Uses the Shallow Grave on himself instead of the carry. But they manage to turn around the Soneko. Can they catch out Dichira as well? The Dazzle goes down in the back lane. The Dust does come out and hit him. And now I am not sure because I feel like the few things, I, I guess you can want to dodge quite a few things here, but you need to be really high skill for that. Nempi manages to turn around and hit Dendi in the face with that stun, but at the same time, Dendi is coming with a Deso and oh, Nempi trying to do, but I think he's going to go down. Sonic Wave committed, but of course, with the Aghanims up, that's no big deal. And waiting for their teammates to be there. How do you even contest this Roshan on a stop, though? Oh goodness, Nempi, he's taking a lot of damage, and the Fiend's Grip with the Melt Strike, he is down. The Hookshot coming out too late to cancel the Fiend's Grip, and now Trixie, he's the one in the danger zone. He's gonna get Shallow Graved up, ensuring the TP out, but oh gosh, OKC, it needs to go as well. TA trapped to see some vision, and they have gotten themselves an easy... Obviously, you can test this Roshan, I don't want to tag SU Bell, but... It doesn't 
feel like it was possible either way. While they do have some good team uh, fight in the pit, cooldown underwhelming at this point. In the you know, when Alchemist and Radiance and Stark kind of have a pretty good high ground defense, you never know what's going to happen. Um, I think in theory... I'll start pounding away on creeps. So, the start... Do you have an idea of how Organist and Mlind Dendi is going in immediately to Talagrave? You tricky. he has used the hook shot, but they pop themselves in the snowball, completely avoiding any of the cooldown damage. That actually hit on none of Navi's heroes, but Seneco is in deep. Odd style might be the next to fall if he's not careful there. And they do manage to get both of those. Dendi is also standing stunned on the- Ended up killing him and his teammates, and now Navi can't push. That gives Stark another three minutes. Yep, and they're going for some more. They've got a lift onto Axmo. Can they get her? Yes, they can. Queen of Pain goes down. 500 gold. But now Nemphi. Okay, it looks like Dichi Ra has no interest in fighting either. Yeah, he's got that Daedalus oh. now. So, oh boy, Boogie might be dead. Yeah, Boogie Pain scripted up. Going to just fall immediately. He does have buyback, but that was rough. So, we'll be seeing Balix Doing... I mean, he's got a Ghost Scepter and a Blink Dagger. Maybe he can make something happen there. Trixie standing still a little bit, pinging out Matt. So if he gets forced up forward, that's not where he wanted to be. He does have a mech. He manages to get it off, but the Shallow Grave even needed. And now Balak, that is his Blink forward. There's going to be a pull down. It's going to connect on at least one. But Trixie brought down by the Sonic Wave. And now people all up in their base. Boogie is trying to fight. He's used that by by Ra actually taking a mass amount of damage. And Zaneko ends up going down. They throw out an unstable concoction. It'll connect onto Axmo despite the Blink away and... One for one. And Octarine finished. Not not the best bomb there. And oh, they gotta catch out Alt Style. They have a board right on top of him. Hookshot hits this time, and Alt Style, he is going down, exploding. That's a lot of gold. For Dazzle, actually. To help his teammates as well. But I oh, feel like. Be good choice. Oh, here comes Axe. We're gonna start with a Shadow Strike. There's a lot of backup here, but Dendi looking to kill that backup off immediately. There is a Shallow Grave coming out, Moki Thea, and he's suddenly gonna fall. Dendi's fighting an illusion. So they've gotten one, and it looks like they might be able to get two as Trixie is going down. Hookshot already expended. Desperately tries to TP out, but it's not gonna work. Oh. I think. There. Oh. I have... no, but Don't know. The only creeps that were out a little bit were in top lane, <laughs> so I I'm still confused. But either way, it's not not too important. We're not out now. And there we yeah. go. There is the Scotty that we're going to be seeing out. Um, Alp is now working on that monitor, but we have an engagement. OKC okay, again going to go down. They need this Dazzle. He manages to drop the weave, and Sonic Wave is expended. That may actually be just enough to go. Oh, goodness. The Rack's taking a lot of damage. DJ Raw has an unstable concoction thrown in him, but of course, he has a BKB, which I imagine will be popped pretty soon. BKB going out on DJ Raw, taking a lot, a little bit of damage from the Gyro, but of course, none of his magical damage now doing anything. This Rax is being lost. A big, long, Unstable concoction and a cooldown to zone them out, but it doesn't feel like it's enough. And Melee Rax is down. Another unstable concoction being charged by Nempi. He just kind of is throwing these out. I don't see a way they can stop this. And Dendi, of course, still has the Aegis range Rax. So much easier to get than Melee, and it's gone. Yeah, it definitely feels like Stark can't oh, nice oh, turn oh, they're around. going through the hold, and they are maybe going to be able to kill a Baxmo. He's put into the snowball, Rubik is already dead, and Dendi just pounding away at people. Rugi has a shallow grave up, but what else can he do? They managed to burn the Aegis, but he doesn't have buyback, and now again, just like Lost game, Nempi against the world has a little bit of help from the Dazzle. He's just going to be throwing unstable concoctions and acid sprays when he can. But if they're not careful, Axmo may come in and kill them all. So it's looking like this is going to be finally the end of this game. Rubik has brought back, but again, such a hard hold and they're two racks down. They throw out the unstable concoction, a hook shot, a really weird interaction there. But we're going to be seeing Seneco. He's going to be lifted. He's probably going to go down. Radiance burning away at him. And now Trixie's almost two shot there. And Nempi, oh, he throws out the stun. I think you actually try to fight into that. But with Dendi coming back up, seems like a bad decision. This Rax is going to be falling quickly. Can they keep it alive somehow? No, it's done. And yeah, we're going to be seeing... Oh, the Rax actually still alive somehow. The mischance from the Radiance doing work. Didn't think I'd say that this game. <laughs>
Oh, but here comes Dendi. He's going in. Nempi taking quite a bit of damage. They have Dendi. His refractions all gone. Can they take out the Raid Boss himself? But no, he just turns around BKBs. Trixie's suddenly taking a lot of damage. The Alp doesn't have buyback despite being an Alchemist. The Scream coming out, wanting to the stall out of group stages. And I know Stalk isn't considered one of the best teams right now, but it does look like, oh, we have a hookshot. Never mind. Action's never going to stop. A pull down as well, but Glimmer Cape greatly reducing that damage. Scotty going to finish him off. Bane buys back members of Nobby and a lot of these players have played together before but it is nice to see them all good as we have a four star four with a lot of four stops all over the place Trixie he's gonna take a lot of damage there he's thrown into a piggy shallow grave already applied but the neck but maybe the one going down and finally they kill him off Trixie actually still alive the scream not in the right position Axmo taking a lot of damage doesn't have another blink for two more seconds can he stay alive he manages to get out Kumar keeps saving his life as well and while all of that's happening Clint is going killing off their racks Ancient is under attack by these creeps Trixie not having a good idea of whether he should be defending the Ancient or trying to fight into it. And I think Stalk maybe given it their last stand. Clink's just pounding away at Creeps. There's going to be a one shot and a fiend grip onto the Dazzle. And suddenly Stalk realizing they need to protect this Ancient because it is falling quickly. Already down to four, three fourths of its health. But now the Clink's, he's just auto attacking everybody down. Tricky taking a lot of damage from both sides. He's going to fall. There's going to be Nephi going down. Shallow Grave delaying that. Dendi finally falls. DJ Raw, can they catch him out as well? He is taking. Huge amounts of damage. Boogie is a piggy. And it looks like Odd Style gonna take a stun. Palix managing to not die just to the Ghost Scepter. Somehow they've held. I speak a final right. And the Vlad, so his team hits even harder. Dendi has Deso full Crystal, uh, full Daedalus, MKB, just so now he doesn't have to worry about that mischance. And oh goodness, we have any gates of Boris punch up. They're catching out Boogie. I don't think he has buyback. He does not. Yeah, and nobody actually in this game has buyback, so Oddstyle may fall here, except for the Quap, of course, and if Oddstyle goes down, this is going to be a nice little thing for them, but at the same time, Dazzle dies in the top lane, not quite sure how that happens, and now Dendi comes in, immediately killing off these illusions. They're going in for the racks once again, Trixie, he's trying to zone them using the cogs, but it doesn't quite hit, and DQ Raw, he gets the range racks, there's going to be more snowballing in. Three shots, Trixie doesn't get a crit there, but now Trixie does end up going down, there's going to be the return to Fiend Strip from Valix, but it's immediately cancelled, and then He's trying to fight here, but he is being destroyed, and the shards block him from getting back into his base with no buybacks. That's our GG. And a quick 2-0, Navi showing that they're strong, but still, I think, a good game all around. Yeah. Um, came down to a few misplays here and there, but a pretty tight game overall. Yeah. So... Well done to Navi. They will be the ones advancing further in the Star Ladder Tournament. They will be going into playoffs, which will be happening, I believe, sometime next week to determine who gets to the lands. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. We had Corrupt Drop Bear doing the wonderful stats, as you can see here. And I've been joined by Goodnight Dota um, on as my co-caster. I'm Lama Down Under.